Hey YouTube. Good morning, aunties. It is early, I must tell you. Um, but like I told you guys before, I try to snag in a video every chance I get. Um, and I've uh committed to doing one sit down a week with you guys and just you know talking about whatever I feel like talking about. And today I just want to talk about something that's just really been getting on my nerves. And <laughs> um, is, you know, dishonest artists. And when I say dishonest, I mean like, okay, here's the rundown. Okay, so you follow an artist for a while. And I'm going to get him changed out into the other blue outfit. And I'll do a close-up video later so that you guys can see him better because I just don't want to be that much. But this is the little outfit he's going to wear. I'm just going to put him on his little um, white thing. So that's the little outfit. But I'll zoom in a little bit closer in a little bit. Um, but yeah. So, okay. So you're following an artist for a while. And what I do is I follow artists you know, I follow their auctions, I follow them, you know, they sell the baby, they sell it to a collector, I follow that collector, see what their pictures look like after they get the baby, you know, how closely do it look like the artist pictures now. Um, I do take in consideration that some people have, you know, lesser quality cameras, so it's not going to pick up as much detail or whatever, but, you know. Sometimes you can really tell that, hey, that artist pictures was kind of edited or souped up. Um, so, um, not even, I'm not even talking about that, of the baby not looking like what it looked like in pictures. What I'm talking about is artists that, like, say, they, they sell on eBay from an average of three to four hundred dollars. Nobody never pays over four hundred dollars for their doll, right? So I check with you, I see a baby I like of yours, and I check with you, and you know, you know that I'm a collector that buy a lot of dolls, and um, not to sound arrogant, but people look at the fact that they be like, oh, she own, you know, some more expensive artist work. So, what you do? You jack up the price. Um... Now you want to charge me $900 for a doll, but you can't even sell a doll for $400 on eBay. But yet, I asked you a price and I'm going to pay you $900. First of all, let me tell you, I know a lot of people are going to say, hold up, hold up. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, the price is, you know, based off of what you feel it's worth as a collector. I totally agree with that. But let me tell you why I feel it's not worth that. As you guys know, I buy a lot of babies and then I might sell them. It's very possible for me to sell a baby. So let's say I get this baby and I pay $900. But this artist's work never goes past $500. How in the heck do you think I'm going to get my money back? I'm not. Because you know what? Nobody's going to pay me that. Because not only am I not the artist, so now it's second hand and nobody's checking for this lady's work. Nobody's looking for this lady's work. Nobody's trying to get her work. And therefore, nobody's going to want to pay me that kind of price. So, with that being said, it's like, okay, I'll pass. Good luck with your sale. Um... I get that a lot. I have even had artists like initially answer me and tell me that their price is one thing. And then I notice that they're online still and I'm thinking, huh, they're probably looking to see what kind of dolls I collect and stuff. I have quite a bit of artist friends to know that, you know, they do look at your collection. Okay. So... They look at the collection and they come back and now all of a sudden my price is higher. Yeah. 
So what I'm saying to you guys is be very careful what you're paying for your dolls and you're investing in them. I know that the price is whatever it's worth to you, but just if you ever decide that you need to sell that baby, you might be stuck. Because if you're not paying what it's worth and you're overpaying for that, that baby just because you're a collector that collects a lot, um, sometimes artists will do that. They will charge per collector. Um, and I was very naive to that when I was younger in collecting. Um, I'm not going to say this artist's name because it's a big time artist's name, but one of my friends at the time had told me, oh yeah, blah, 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 um, said that they would do a custom for me for $800. I don't know the exact figure. I'm just throwing this out here. And I'm like, wow really i'm like that's pretty good so even though i was new to collecting i had already started buying like tons of dolls like i was buying i probably had already bought about 10 or 15 dolls at this point so i contact this artist blah blah and blah blah tells me well yeah, to do a custom for you, it would be uh, $1,500. Hold up. So, of course, I can't go back and say, well, so-and-so said you charge. I just said, I'm sure your work is worth it. Best with, that is out of my price range. Best, you know, thank you for responding. I never argue with them. I'm not going to say... Oh, why can't you this? Why can't you? No, I'm not going to do that. You know why? Because then some artists, if you say, well, can you give me a discount? Blah, 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 blah. You know, when you negotiate the price with them, some artists, you're negotiating price. But in their head, they're negotiating their time and their quality. And next thing you know, you get a doll that's like not as good as their normal work. And they'll be like, well, I gave it to you for a discount. So I couldn't put all of this in there. But they don't tell you that part. So just be careful. Just be careful. That's what I'm saying. Just be careful. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit for you guys. And hope that my camera. My battery was low. So. Yeah my battery was low. So. I don't know. If this will, ooh, that's too close and too much on me. All right, let's see. I don't know. I tried, guys. I tried. Um, but yeah, so that is just that's my thing with the, you know being new you really gotta look and see what the going prices are and stuff like that because you know people will take advantage of your newbie status and don't think for one time that these artists how we check out artists artists check out collectors they really do they they look at um, like half of my face they look at you know your collection they want to see what kind of dolls you're collecting because a lot of times which it makes sense they want to know if you're you know a serious buyer or if you can afford these type dolls or whatever um before they sell to you and you know nothing wrong with that but when they go to boosting the price up because they feel like you can afford more that's when it's unfair. That's when it's unfair. Um, you also, I know a lot of people are like, um, you know, they fall in love with a kid. They don't care where it comes from, blah, 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 blah. Well, a lot of more seasoned collectors and even some of the newbies, because you got people that are just name brand type people, so to speak. You want to know what kit you're getting. You want to know if it's a limited edition, if it's a sold out edition. That makes a difference because 
what people forget is that we are still collecting and these are collectible items and sold out editions does hold more value and the value increase because they can no longer get that particular item limited editions the kits generally cost more up front anyway so you want to know if this is a limited edition if it has the coa if it don't have the coa you know um because some collectors are very funny about that when they you know they're getting ready to buy a baby from you if you second hand and i'm one if if you don't have the coa you know depending on what the doll which doll it is um if I'm absolutely totally in love with the doll and I feel like I'm not going to want to sell it anyway, um, <clears throat> COA is not going to be a big deal for me, but for collecting purposes, the collector side of me, um, most of the time I want my COA. You know why? Because guess what? Seasoned collectors, they want their COA, especially with silicone babies. They definitely want their. If you collect them a Lomi Stratum or a Claire Teller or... Um, Joanna, whoever, and uh, I can't say her last name. You know, people like that, they want the COA because they know that people that's paying in that price bracket is not going to pay them full price without a COA. It's too many bootleg dogs going around for them not to ask for the COA. I'm going to stop this video here and we'll have a do a part two, okay? All right.